classic Crossroads, and for that early Clapton tone, I'm playing this vintage Epiphone 5102, uh, semi-electric, <clears throat> semi um, with quite a bit of drive from the amplifier, and for that woman kind of tone, I'm selecting both pickups with the tone of the bridge pickup rolled off a lot. Okay, so you're gonna play this main riff, which is a classic, but just playing open A, and then fretting second fret on the G string, playing another A, and then alternating between open G and the A note. Okay. Using alternate picking on the right hand. Picking every note. And then playing a slight bend on the third fret of the A string, I do that with my middle finger uh, for the C note. And then uh, pulling off. Okay, so I'm muting that A with my right hand before I play the second. So in the final uh, time uh, of that um, of that phrase. You're not playing a single uh, alternating between the G and A notes, but you're doing it with a bar with your index string. Clapton does that occasionally in the song. So when it's time to move to the four chord, this is a blues in A, you're gonna play a regular, so standard bread and butter D uh, seventh, which is second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string, and second fret on the E string. This chord, but you're using this picking pad. song Clapton plays the same uh, phrases on the A chord on the D chord like this okay when it's time to move to the 5 chord which is the E you play your regular 5 6 fam which is open E second fret on the A string alternating uh, on the A string between the fourth and the second fret okay but he plays this lick, which is very recognizable. I'm not going to show you all of the solo parts, of course, but these are some signature uh, licks, signature guitar licks in the song. Uh, as long as you get those right, you can add your own improv on top of it, and it will st still come across as being crossroads, but with your own personality. So on the five chord... Okay, so you're sliding into the E note, from the 5th fret on the A string to the 7th fret on the A string. And then with your index finger you're fretting the 5th fret on the D string and then you're hammering on to the 7th fret of the D string. And then you're playing 5th fret on the G string. G string and then you're playing a pull off from the seventh fret to the fifth fret on the G string again seventh fret on the D string followed by the fifth fret on the G string it's still the same box Crossroads lick. Which is the turnaround. So you're basically outlining an A7 chord like that, 
uh, playing a, a small slide from the fifth fret on the G string to the sixth fret, which is the uh, the third on that A chord. Okay. And then you're barring fifth fret on the B and E strings on the f uh, uh, like that. Which is a staple in rock and roll and blues music. And then with your pinky, uh, you're playing a, uh, let me see, that's eight fret on the B string, and then sliding down to the um, seventh fret, pulling off to the fifth. You can also do it with your ring finger, or fret everything. Seventh fret on the B string. Then uh, playing a bar on the fifth fret G and B strings. We're still in that A box. We're then hammering on to the first fret of the G string, which again is just the third in the A chord. Playing the G and B strings. 7th fret on the D string. So. That's 7th fret on the A string, which is again an A, an E, sorry, uh, which of course is the 5 chord.